It's a lot of people that fear bats. Usually when people are afraid of bats, it's because they don't understand them or don't know much about them. And whether you find these little guys and gals cute or creepy, they do a lot to help prop up Northern California's ecosystem and agriculture. Well, they're eating insects. And um, so they're incredibly important for pest control. They reduce pesticide use and they reduce crop loss. But the combination of overdevelopment and climate change may be affecting California's bat population. We do know that in the last 50 years, um, there's a, a pretty steady decline. And habitat loss is mainly to blame. We have maybe 10% of our riparian left in California. That, that's gonna be a substantial hit. Because riparian zones, which are the marshy areas along rivers, creeks, and lakes, are home to the insects that bats feed on. And then of course we've had huge forest fires, um, which substantially affect uh, habitat for many different animals. Including, of course, bats, which can roost in large trees. And climate change is increasing the potential for large wildfires as droughts drag on longer. But unlike trees, bats can easily move to find a more suitable space to call home. But a big move can still be a big risk. Bats can move, but they're the kind of insects which are associated with the plants may not move. Still, nature has a way of adapting to its needs, and migrating bats could find a new food source. But further drops in Northern California's bat population would mean impacts for us humans. Bats eat insects. Um, and so when we have bat populations decline, we potentially have more insects. When we have more insects, depending on the kind of insects, we use more pesticide. Pesticides are not healthy for anything in the ecosystem. Quirk says that everyone can help California's bat population by limiting pesticide use at home and by adding native plants to their gardens. You can also look into installing a bat box in your yard, providing a safe and permanent space for them to roost. I'm meteorologist Heather Waldman for KCRA 3 News. And if you would like to learn more about bat conservation efforts, visit YoloBasin.org. The Yolo Basin Foundation is also hosting educational bat walks several nights a week through September, and you can reg register at that same website.